Preventing attacks from hackers and cyber criminals is an increasing concern for academic institutions already facing enormous challenges during this time of distance learning. The Rialto Unified School District and College of the Desert have seen their systems hit by malware attacks this month. Rialto Unified had to suspend its distance learning program and collect any devices that were infected. The district hopes have classes back online for pre-kindergarten through 8th grade as early as Monday August 31st, but high school classes will remain offline while devices are examined and exchanged. The San Bernardino City Unified School District faced a scary incident last October, as it was the target of a ransomware attack. A number of other school districts, colleges and universities across the nation have been the targets of ransomware and malware attacks in recent months. The University of Utah and University of California, San Francisco even paid ransoms of $457,000 and $1, 14 million, respectively, to get systems back online and have any stolen data recovered. There is no data to indicate academic institutions are being targeted more since distance learning became a way of life during the coronavirus pandemic, but cybersecurity experts said they are not surprised to hear about attacks occurring. The fact is many of these systems can be very vulnerable, said Jared Phipps, a vice president at Sentinel One, which specializes in endpoint security. Distance learning forced institutions to open up their systems even more. There was this rush to start education at home and not enough time and attention paid to security. More digital devices endpoints are being used to execute distance learning, putting institutions at greater risk. Many of these devices would not exist if not for distance learning, said Ziyun Qian, an associate professor in UC Riverside's Computer Science and Engineering Department. Each one potentially is a way into a system. Tony Colson, a professor and director of the Cybersecurity Center at Cal State San Bernardino, said institutions below the college level are the ones most vulnerable to a breach. It's just a matter of economics in those cases, Colson said. Launching a cyberattack is cheap, but it can take millions of dollars to prevent them or recover from them. There are multi-billion dollar corporations that spend millions of dollars when it comes to cybersecurity, and some still get attacked. Many school districts just don't have the resources, whether budgetary or personnel, to handle a sophisticated attack. Government agencies and high-profile businesses tend to be the most common targets of cybercriminals because attacks can be highly profitable. So what's to gain by attacking an academic institution? Qian said colleges and universities can be a prime target for hackers because of research programs.